Those in the timber industry are still looking for answers on what to do now post Hurricane Michael. So many of these men and women depend on harvested pines for income or retirement checks. With most of the trees wiped out by the storm, these farmers are at a standstill. News 13's Ashton Williams says recovery for the industry will be a long process. $1.3 billion in lost timber is what the panhandle of Florida is facing post Hurricane Michael, which is why so many landowners and foresters still have lots of questions. They all have questions about what do they do with the mess on the ground? How do they sell that timber that's on the ground? Is there any value to it? How do they get assistance? Which is why the Florida Tree Farm Program, along with other forestry service agencies, hosted an informational workshop in Bluntstown Tuesday. The purpose of this program is to provide that information, talk about what kind of assistance might be available in the future that's in progress right now. Different agencies spoke, offering basic information to these landowners and foresters. The big issue with the agencies is overload. There's not enough people, not enough manpower to process all the need. Demur says these agencies are doing the best they can to work as quickly as possible to help everyone, but it's going to take a while to recover. The landowners just have to come to the realization that it's going to be years to, to get out of this mess. You know, everybody's in the same boat, you know. So it's going to take some, you know, a long-term vision, long-term planning. Officials say they are exploring options of hosting several other workshops of this nature as the recovery process continues. Ashton Williams, News 13, Panhandle Strong.